Hello everyone and welcome to Society TV. I'm Society News correspondent Joya Delgado-Harris. Here are the top stories for the week of April 11th. The Society, as the largest non-government, non-profit funding source of cancer research, recently announced new research and training grants for the latest funding cycle. Well, we had the opportunity to fund 103 grants in this cycle for about $44 million. We're very excited. There's some terrific, terrific research that we're going to be able to support. The new grants will fund investigators at 74 institutions across the country, covering a wide range of cancer research subjects. For more information on the Society's cancer research and training programs, visit cancer.org forward slash research. The Merck Foundation has given the Society a generous four-year, $1.5 million grant to implement a comprehensive patient navigation program in three U.S. communities with significant cancer care disparities. The intention of the grant is to work within targeted communities to help ensure that patients not only receive timely access to treatment, but actually going further upstream, really looking at how do we help them access timely diagnostic and then see them through to clinical resolution. For more information on this grant, check out the related press release in the Society's online press room. And finally, the Society is teaming up with CVS Health Foundation in an effort to make U.S. college and university campuses 100% smoke-free or 100% tobacco-free through the Tobacco-Free Generation Campus Initiative. 90% of smokers begin by the age of 18 and fully 99% begin by the age of 26, highlighting the importance of sort of targeting this college and young age uh, adult groups having more and effective strategies and efforts for prevention and cessation. For more information on this initiative, visit cancer.org forward slash TFGCI. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.